Hey everyone, it's Barrett from Technomods, and uh, a couple of our users had questions about um, doing a tag axle on a truck, so I figured I'd do a uh, short video on it to kind of show y'all how to do it. Um, if we go ahead and open up the game here, I already have two trucks in here. One of them has a working tag axle that was pulled off the... Uh, off the internet from a site. I'll see if I can uh, find a link to it and post it in here for y'all. Uh, the other truck that we have is um, a custom truck that was done. Um, the pipes are a little messed up on it, but for educational purposes, we're going to show y'all how to add the tags ac tag axle to this truck right here. As you can see, there's not one up there. Um, for educational purposes, this is going to be the truck that we're going to take the uh, tag, zag, tag axle references from. You see you get in it, it has Z, tri-axle down, you can't see it, but it's on the left side of my screen in the HUD. Click Z button, tag axle comes down, has some sound to it, the wheel spins. Hit Z again, it goes back up. The wheel does not travel in the up position, so this is a good truck to reference if you want to do a tag axle. The uh, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to open up the i3D file of this truck, um, which we have here. Hopefully y'all can see this good and audio quality is good enough to where y'all can make out what I'm doing here. Um, so basically, let's go ahead and select this tag axle here. As we can see, this tag axle is the whole tag axle there minus, looks like there's another axle in here, which is the pusher. Um, so I guess that's the actual actual for actual axle for the tag axle there. Um, for just this purpose right now, we're going to take this whole tag axle and we are going to put it on the uh, other truck there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get the tag axle. We're going to get a file. Um, we're going to make sure that everything's in here. This dummy right here, I believe that's a reference point. I'm not too sure yet. You got your fenders, front right tire, front left tire. And what we're going to do is select the whole tag axle. We're going to go to File, Export All with Files. We're going to find our folder that has the truck in it. Just tag axle right here. And we're going to make a new file, a new folder, and we're going to call this tag axle. Open that folder up. And we're going to export the whole tag axle as a i3D file. Alright. As you can see, it's exporting here. Sorry, my graphics cards acting a little weird here okay as you can see the tag axle has been exported into our other other truck folder so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our other truck here you can see we got the whole truck here we am going to file import as you see, we got tag axle here. We're going to import the tag axle. And it looks like I actually imported the whole truck here. All right. So I actually import the whole truck. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tag axle portion of it. We're going to cut that out. 
and we're going to paste that in our peat truck here. Delete these excess files that we don't need here. Alright, so as you can see, here is the tag axle. Alright, now we're going to save this. So right now the tag axle should should show up on the truck with no functions or with no no up or down functions as of right now. So let's go back into our game. We're going to check to make sure that it is showing up rendering in the game. Alright, as you can see the tag axle is on the truck, just like the other one, but there is no, actually got some, there's actually a tag axle function on this truck, which is actually set to the pipes, which we're going to fix that here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of referencing here. We're going to open up the other Peterbilt file, which is this one right here. We're going to look at the tag axle here. That is index path 033. So we're going to look at our, in, our index file here. And as you can see, try axle index 033. Uh, minimum transition, maximum transition, transition time, um, torch trans limit. I'm not sure what that is, but basically, I believe that this is the start and this is the end. It goes by x axis, y axis, and z axis. Um, I have no idea what that is, but to be there. So, what we're going to do here is we are going to copy this line of XML code. You can see it references index 033 which here we have the main tag index of 033. Now on our new truck the index path has changed to 044. So we're going to copy this line of code and we are going to paste it in here. There's actually already a reference in here to a triaxle, which was copied off the same XML file as you can see. But we're going to get rid of that. And our new index is 040. So we're going to come back to our XML file. We're going to change this to 040 and we're going to save that. Now, let's see what happens when we go back into the game here. Now, if you're starting with a truck that does not already have the tags axle lift, there will be. Um, something else that you need to reference here. As you can see the tag axle is on the truck and it is actually going down and going up. Now the one thing that I forgot to mention is the key to make this happen. Um, for that you want to look in we open our files, files here. We want to look at the mod description folder. Here's the key right here. Try axle down. And we have a script also. Try axle.lua. So if you're doing this fresh with a truck that does not have this, 
you want to grab the script file. Just try axle down in scripts. You have try axle down. You want to make sure that this script file is in your new truck that you're working with, which it already is. Um, <clears throat> you also want to make sure that the script try axle is referenced in the new truck in the mod description. So as you can see here, here's the truck, the red truck that we're working on now. It already has the triaxle down key. It has a script here, and it is also included in the vehicle here, which you can see at triaxle right here. Um, this right here, I believe this is to show up in the hood which it says try axle down to test this I'm kinda new to this also so please bear with me we're gonna say try axle down you yeah. which the text name try axle down that references uh... Let's see that references probably uh, I believe this actually references a uh, some a object in the script somewhere. Um, but anyway, you want to make sure that you have this, the Lua script file. You want to include the script function in your vehicle type, and then you have your your input binding key right here, which in this case is key V. It references input name triaxle, T R I uppercase A X L E, which is referenced here, T R I A X L E. That's what actually connects the script to this um, to this index part here. Um, once we do that, there is let's see here, rebuild. That's the mod description. You can see there is simulated wheel one. I believe that these need to be included. Again, I'm not sure what they do. I'm still kind of new to this, but hopefully I can share some insight with y'all on how to do a tag axle here. As you can see, this is referencing node 0331 and 0332. If we look back at the file, triaxle, we have 0331 and 0332, which are the actual wheels here. So we're going to look at our new truck here, open up triaxle, and here we go. It's going to be 041 and 042 up in here for the index path. Index path. So we're going to change this to 40, and we're going to change this to 40. And we're going to save this. We're going to go back to our i3d file, make sure that our camera is right here. And we're going to save this. Okay, looks like our file saved. So once our file saves, we're going to go back into Form a Simulator game. And we're going to check our truck. Okay, you can't see it though, but I did change the title in the HUD controls to Triaxle Down, yeah. And it actually showed up there, so that's good. So now as you can see, 
The wheels are moving with the triaxle. Bring it up. The wheels do not move. But we need to move it back some because it looks like it's forward right there. So we need to move this on its x-axis. So what we're going to do here is we can see that they're in place on the truck kind of where we want them. Um, which is actually, I'm sorry, it's going to be on the z-axis, which is negative uh, 2.375. We open up our we open up our file here. We can see that the z axis is different than our z axis in there. Um, again, this is x axis, y axis, z axis goes x, y, z. So we're going to come in here and we're going to oh sorry wrong one. We're going to copy our z axis here, negative two point three seven five and we are going to replace it, replace our z-axis in here. So now, if we go into the game, the tri-axle should be in place where we want it. There we go. Our triaxle is in place where we want it. It's lifting up and down, and it looks pretty good.